what's up guys welcome back to iron model cars and welcome back to another video today i will be doing a, a quick comparison of the biburago ferrari monza sp1 in the um, race and play variation of silver with the yellow stripe and on the right the signature series version of the uh, uh, rosso corsa with the italian stripe down the middle so yeah, as I said, the one on the left is the um, non-signature version. Um, this one can be found for about 30 to 40 euro. Um, and on the right, the signature version, um, you can think, yeah, it's about double the price actually. Um, about 60 to 70 euro, I think. Um, actually, maybe a little bit less. Um, but yeah, almost double the price. Um, so yeah, I figured let's do a quick comparison between the two. Uh, see what the differences are um, and why uh, the red one um, yeah is it, and why the red one is um, a signature series version so let's take a look at a few of the differences um, yeah first of all it's the color of course um, you got the Rosso Corsa um, with the Italian stripe down the middle, you can only get this color on the signature version. The normal version uh, right now only comes in silver with the yellow stripe. Um, yeah, I hope Borago will release more colors in the future for both of these, the normal version and also the signature version. Um, but yeah, that's the main difference right now. Um, so yeah, let's just start on the exterior differences. So let's start at the back here. Uh, actually, the license plate there is by myself, um, but underneath of that, it's exactly the same as this one. So you got Monza SP1 logo. Um, so yeah, there's no differences there. Um, let's actually go close to the models. So taking a quick look at the back here, you can see the Ferrari horse logo in the middle there. It's actually, I think, a small sticker. And also up here, the Ferrari uh, logo text is also a sticker. If you look at the signature series version, you can see that it actually is a photo etched piece. And on top as well, and you can also see that on, on the top there, the, the text is actually a bit smaller than the uh, non-signature signature series version. Um, yeah, I don't know why, it's, why it is this big on here. But yeah, it's, it is textured. Uh, it's a, it is a um, photo etched piece, so that's really good. Um, other than that, here on the back, it's exactly the same. Uh, textured carbon here, you got the reflectors over here as well. Um, yeah, no other differences there. Um, if we take a look at the top here, you can see that the door here on the side, you can actually see on the top that the... Um, the gap in between the door and the panel here on the top, you can see it's not painted. If we look at the signature series version, you can see that there's a black line painted in between, in the shot line. So that's really good. That makes the look actually, as you can see, it makes it look uh, a bit more um, neat. Whereas here, it's not painted at all. It's also on the door here, you can see the, the black painted shot line. That's really good. Uh, the front logos are exactly the same. Don't see any differences in there, as far as I can see. Uh, everything else in the front here is also exactly the same. Also the Ferrari grills, it's just painted there. The Ferrari logo, I mean, sorry. Exactly the same on both of them. Um, the Scuderia shield on the side is also exactly the same, as far as I can see. No differences there. Uh, headlights and rear lights also exactly the same. No differences there. Um, yeah, the other differences on the exterior is actually the brake disc. So you can see there, they look quite good. Pretty nice. And if you take a quick look at the non signature series version, you can see that. It's actually uh, a bit, uh, yeah, it's not as good as the Signature Series one. 
you do have the holes in them but yeah I mean they don't really look very great whereas here it's much more um, crisp calipers are exactly the same wheels are exactly the same and the rear the caliper is actually too small compared to the real car but it's the same on both of these models so nothing we can do about that um, so let's move on to the other differences so the rest is actually on the interior so if we open up the door here it's on the non series version so uh, well first of all you can see the Ferrari tax logo on the door sill as well as the uh, silver painted floor silver paddle, paddle shifters silver around the uh, conditioning vents and also on the door there that small bit is also painted in silver and the paddles as well and if we look at the non signature series version the floor is black you don't have the silver paint on the shift paddles or on the air vents um, the floor paddles are also just in black plastic so yeah, we do have a bit of extra painted parts here. Um, steering wheels look exactly the same. Um, except for, no, they are exactly the same actually, yeah. Steering wheels are exactly the same. Also the buttons and switches on the side there, just next to the seat, also exactly the same. Gauge cluster is also exactly the same. So yeah, Barago actually did a very good job with the non-signature because it still has a lot of painted parts, the controls and all that. So that's really good. Uh, if we just quickly turn around, the seat is actually also on here, just plastic, just like the normal one. Um, yeah, I don't know why it's not uh, this. I don't know why the, the 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 seat doesn't have a bit of texture to it. Because I know that the single series version of the 458 actually has a um, textured dash and also on the seats and I think maybe a bit of the flooring um, and also the FXXK EVO single series version that one also has a bit of texture on the seats so yeah I don't know why Barago actually just used the same seats here as on the non single series version would have been better if it had a bit of texture to it but it is what it is um but the final difference here is that you can see the seat belts are just black there and on the signature series version we actually have the ferrari logos on the on the belts which looks pretty good um yeah we've got a few more differences so if we open up the rear here i can do that It's actually a bit tricky let me just put the camera down real quick so looking at these panels opened up you can see that the underside is actually just unpainted here well it's painted in the same as the body color whereas here it's actually painted in matte black and also the hinges um, yeah and that it just looks a whole lot better much more realistic and the trunk space exactly the same just plastic um, would have preferred a bit of cloth in here as well, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. And also, one thing on my signature series version, you can actually see there that the, um, the paint is damaged there. You can actually see the metal underneath, and that's because this um, uh, the trunk uh, lid actually scrapes with the body there when I open it. So yeah, I, I won't really be opening this up anymore uh, after this video. Um, this one is actually just fine. Um, let's open up the engine cover. So also on the here you can see that the underside is painted in black. And here it's painted the body color and yeah you can see the difference there that's actually quite a uh, significant difference there um, and it looks a whole lot better um, the engine block is actually exactly the same on both of them so you can see a red painted uh, engine there and the silver uh, on the clamps there um, yeah that's basically about it over here is exactly the same 
Um, yeah, it's exactly the same. I would have preferred seeing maybe a bit, a few labels, warning labels, and uh, things like that. But um, yeah, so as I said, guys, the red one is actually about double the price. So, do you think it is worth paying almost twice the price for the red SP1? Compared to the silver non-signature. Um, well, in my opinion, it's not really worth it. If you look at what you are you are actually getting uh, in terms of differences. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you're mainly paying for the for the for the for the different color and uh, stripe design um, on the signature series version. Um, that's the main difference, really. That's um, that's what you're paying for but yeah to, to charge oh, double the price i don't think that's really uh, i don't think that's a really good from borago um, they could have at least integrated a bit more detail better quality um yeah just better details overall that would have been a much much better and then then double price would have probably been worth it um but yeah it's uh, it's quite unfortunate actually um, but yeah I like the SP1 um, I have the budget to buy these models so yeah I'm happy with the red SP1 I think it, it does look a whole lot better than the silver one in terms of the color and the stripe design so yeah but for now I'll just keep both um, they look pretty good next to each other so let me know in the comments what you think of these models and my little comparison um, Check out my Instagram link is also down below. You can see these two models and all my other models. Um, also, check out my previous video where I explained exactly how to make your own custom number plates, just as, as I did here. I will still be installing one over there as well. <laughs> um, so yeah. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.